I have on this pallet a wall for Jessie's bedroom. Hopefully that will keep her from kicking holes in her walls. Okay. And potentially hurting herself. So it's Wayne's potty. Tall Wayne's potty for her um, for her bedroom. For her bedroom walls. Yeah. It just came on a big big old truck. For her bedroom makeover that we are about to embark upon. Hey everybody, so this is the before tour of Jessie's bedroom as we are getting ready to make over her room to make it a little bit safer and more comfortable for her. We're going to do the work ourselves and our plans are to put wainscoting all the way around the room, pretty high up. You see where the wall meets the ceiling, it's going to be at that height all the way around her entire room. She kicked a hole in her drywall back where those pillows are. She won't be sleeping in here uh, anymore uh, after last night because we're gonna we're going to start on this project right away. She's getting a new bed, new bedding. She's getting new blinds because she has uh, broken all of her blinds. We're doing away with the curtain panels because she has a tendency to pull and tug on those. Uh, her new blinds have these cute little ribbon tapes with little flowers on them. And so we're gonna try to make it pretty and, and sweet, but most of all, we're gonna try to make it safe and comfortable for Jessie. And we are gonna start the demo right now. I'm channeling my inner chip. Your chip? There's my inner chip gains. Oh, your chip gains. <laughs> there is something eerily satisfying about demolition. <laughs> oh, what yeah. are you doing there anyway? I'm taking baseboards off. Okay. And, and I think it might actually be more fun than putting them on. Ooh, yuck. That's a start. That's a start. We only have, what, about 40, 50 more feet to do? 50 feet? Oh, you're welcome to put the phone down and come help. I'm filming you doing actual work oh. because I don't want everybody to think it's just me. Oh. We are working together. Okay, so we have a new toy. Oh my gosh, that t that tool. Okay, so yeah, this is a um, oscillating multi-tool kit. Or a like, flush, um, it's a flush saw. Yeah. And what we did with it is we cut off these little windowsill edges. Took off the trim. trim. So we can butt our beadboard right up right under up the windowsill. Right, right up the side. And we did that on all three windows. And this little tool is about a hundred bucks. Right that window, all three of them. Bought from Amazon. Just yeah. link in the description below. Right. Good. I never knew that this tool. What, what did you pay for it? A hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. That tool 100 bucks. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. just paid for itself in, in later. six that little took cuts. Took us what ten minutes, and now it's going to save us because we don't have to deal with. Took me an hour anymore. to get you up here to do it. Right, because I was feeding Obed <laughs> and taking the dog out <laughs> because and, I was know. doing demo and laundry and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Okay, right. that's a great tool in my opinion yeah. for the ladies. It uh, oscillates this way, so it doesn't spin or anything like that. So mm -hmm. I've never seen one. I've never used one before. So I'm glad we have one now. Mm -hmm. So all good. I have on this pallet. Hopefully. A wall for Jessie's bedroom. Hopefully that will keep her from kicking holes in her walls. Okay. And potentially hurting herself. So it's a big old twelve hundred pounds worth of worth of wood. So they they cut the height to exactly what we wanted. So this I don't have to cut that height. Company has been absolutely amazing to work with. Very helpful. Making sure that we had everything we needed for the job. Well, we'll find out. But I'm, yeah, we will find out, won't we? They're just—they're. It just looks the really nice. People. 
eight inches wide and they are five eighths inches thick. Okay, and about what, five inch, five feet tall? Baseboard number one, yeah. day one. That's it. Board number one. Time for a break? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's It only took you until noon to get started, so no. With all the setup and the prep work and everything else, we are not taking any break. Whoa. Look at that corner. It's not even attached yet, and there's no caulk. It almost looks like he knows what he's doing. Woohoo! Good job, Daddy. Getting ready to cut out our outlet spots right there. We've never done that before. Let's hope it works. Day two, got a little bit of a slow start. We ran short of baseboard. We have another piece being rushed to us. And we're going to simultaneously prime and paint because we kind of lost some time yesterday and today. Okay, well, believe it or not, it's day three, and we're just finishing our first wall. Day one and two were baseboards, and we started this paneling, but we have learned a few things. We've learned to do cutouts and extensions for both the outlets and for the light switch. We knew that was going to be a problem. That was something we had to learn. I think they're called, like, Double bangers or some weird, there's a weird name and I probably said it wrong and people are going to laugh and that's fine. So we had to uh, trim off our bead board at both ends to make it flush. And then we put a top cap piece, top cap piece on. For now, we're going to call it good. That's your outlet hole. So you drilled a hole, mm -hmm. and then you used your skill saw to cut it out, and then we'll clean it up so it's a nice... Right, and then use the um, the gang extender box things, not the doppelgangers, which are people <laughs> that look like you. <laughs> it's close. The gang extension <laughs> outlets, or whatever they call them. What do you think? This one looks uh, kind of weird for Jesse. Why does it look weird? Because... Usually walls don't look like this. They don't? Uh, no. What do they usually look like? Like, the usual... Drywall? Yeah, that. You can see how tall that wainscoting is. I mean, if I stand up, like, next to it, it's... The, the top... I think I'm... It's taller than you. I'm only five <laughs> feet. And Jessie's still a little bit shorter than you are, so I think this will be really good for her. Yeah. And not only that, but I'm going to paint this in the same paint sheen as the trim. It'll be a high gloss, yeah. which will make it very easy for me to clean Yeah. when she gets it gross and dirty like she does. Oh. Oh. Is this sturdier enough? Or? It's a lot sturdier. So what do you think? It, 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 it does work for Jessie. So do you want dad to do that in your room? Around the whole entire room? No, only for Jesse. Don't you want to do it to Hannah's room too, dad? Uh, no. <laughs> it's really hard to put in, Hannah. Yeah, and it, I like my walls just the way they are. I like your walls the way they are too, and they, they work for you too. Yeah. All right, you can go hit the showers if you like. Okay. All right, sweet girl. Thanks for gracing us with your presence on your gotcha day. <laughs> You're welcome. I gotcha. I've been here for 22 years and counting. Oh my goodness, 22 years and counting, huh? Yeah. Since the day we brought you home from Dulles Airport. Yeah, and I was screaming my full head off. You sure were. And I'm with my 60-something-year-old parents. Uh, was that necessary? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we weren't 60-something years old when you came home. No, I mean... Starting when I was start starting, uh, twenty two years. Okay, so now. if we're sixty two now, yeah, and you've been with us for twenty two years, how old were we when you came home? Uh, thirty. No. Wait, forty. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were forty. Yeah, when you first got me and cuddled me. 
<laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> I'm glad we got you, Hannah. Yep. <laughs> you don't want to do beadboard in every room in this house? This is my arch nemesis right now. We knew it would be. We had to cut these window sills so that we could fit a board in there and then we have beads that we're going to come across and I've got another one of these that I have to do on this end and then we're going to butt joint those. Butt today. joint. This wall here is yeah. going to go right up, up into, into that, that corner. And what did you say about that 80-20 rule the, um, earlier? Yeah, 80% of the job goes easy and 20% of the job takes 80% of the time. Yeah. It's 80-20 rule. Okay. Totally. And so you see the easy stuff is done. But... <laughs> It's the hard stuff that takes forever. Yeah. Well, the easy stuff isn't all the way done yet either. We've got a long way to go yet. Hey, that was the professor reminding us to get back to work. Ay, ay, ay. You ready to move on from this? Yeah. Okay. And you know, it's always something, isn't it? Yeah, so our, we had a Hannah storm. Oh, my storms. We're still having the Hannah storm. Can you see She came there? home, and as soon as she came home, it uh, started storming. So, and our power's out. Power's out, day four, halfway through day four. I don't know for how long, but poor Hannah's in the shower right now. And in our house, <laughs> we're waiting for the screams because in our house, um, the well is attached. To, it's so electric. Water, so the water stops. We don't have any water. And so she's in the shower all soaked up and I'm waiting for the, the scream. screams <laughs> about two minutes. So and I've been working on this board for probably an hour. Too long to try to get it to fit into this spot. And I am not using any power tools at the moment because we don't have any power. We don't have any power, but I think it's gonna go. I've been, I've been sanding. And you can't cut any boards or anything. No, oh my sand gosh. It. And I think it's gonna go, look, <sighs> see? Yep. And then we're gonna punch it through there and make it happen. Okay. So mom's gonna get the glue. Yep, and, and we're, we're going to do it. So we're going to move on from this one board that's taken over an hour. And then we have to find something around here that doesn't need to be cut. <sighs> I'm always looking for an opportunity to take a break. But Not, no, you I can't. All oh, the day goes by so fast. And I'm a taskmaster. All right, so go get your liquid nails. All right. We'll get this put up there. So, Hannah. Yes. How was your shower? It was, it was good. Did you have enough water to finish the job? Yeah. You want to look at my hair? You want to look at my hair? Oh, it's okay. If you think, if you say that all the soap is out, that's great. I rinsed it out good and well. So did the pressure go down? Um, no. Well, you must have just timed that just right. I know. Sometimes when it, what it'll do is it'll give you a little bit more water, but then you can feel it. The pressure just goes, right? Yeah. I'm very happy that you got your shower, sweetie. Uh, thank you. Because, you know, that would have been... I was waiting for a scream from down the hall. Oh. Oh, that would have been bad, right? All that thick, beautiful hair of yours not being able to get the shampoo out. Yeah. But as long as you did, that's great. It looks like we might be having pizza for dinner tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep painting because the, actually the power outage helps me. It actually helps me because I can see where I painted. Oh. So I'm going to keep moving, okay, on that because that's all that we can really do right now. Yeah. All right, so here we are at day five. We're about <laughs> halfway through day five. Oh, help But us. you would never know it by Some... the amount of work we got done today, which is like an hour. Somebody or help two us. Of day five. Now, we're supposed to be finished. Oh, gosh. Uh, all the baseboard, the, mold, uh, the baseboard, the beadboard, the top molding, uh, all the framing around the windows, and. Um, we're not there yet. This is not your typical DIY project. No. This is a much higher level yeah. than I think we're qualified for, but <laughs> we're, we're it, doing it. It's, and it's it a really takes, hard room. And it takes longer. So let me us. ask you, honey. Yeah. Can we do it? Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, that's probably copyrighted by somebody. Uh, I don't know, but we can do it. Um, the we must unique if you want to turn over there and show that corner one of those um the where the dormers are each side takes about two hours at least two i hours. think we did it bass backwards well because that, i think we were supposed to do the window first and come out from there but it's it's done hard, we hard to do. the hardest part is just 
don't know, it's our own stupidity. We're just not, we're not, we, we don't, don't do this every day. No, we don't. And so and, <laughs> a lot of it is learning as we go. We know the big things that are going to cause us trouble. The corners and the working around windowsills and the little bits in the window framing has been a challenge. We have one more window here, but this one at least isn't embedded, you know, in the, in yeah, the door. Yeah, that's really tough. We will likely finish up this beadboard and top molding either late tonight or tomorrow. Well, it'll probably be tomorrow. Well, thankfully you have a lot of vacation time. I do have a lot of vacation time and this is really, really important. Now, this baseboard, we just got the replacement baseboard in today. So this has kept us, board right here. Yeah. So this has kept us from doing this wall and this window and everything because we couldn't finish up any of this. We're getting there. And you may the wonder, you may wonder why we're filming this one from the floor. It's because we're like 61 and 61 years old. And I like the way you said that because I'm just a few weeks away from 62 and he knows better than to say 62 <laughs> before he gets there. Yes, he knows okay. better. So anything we can do from the floor without having to get up. Well, we, we can't. We can't get up. That's the problem. It's been really, really hard. <laughs> when you spend 12 hours, 14, 16 hours going up and down three flights, four flights of stairs. And outside of, to the saw. all of our and, saws oh are outside. We're carrying all these boards up 1,800 pounds. Yeah, I think the bill of laden, is that what it's called? Yeah. I think it said 1,200 pounds, but still. Okay, plus, yeah, okay. Plus, 12, plus, plus, okay. right? All the, all Extra the other, yeah. Sent, right? Oh, my word. So, Laura, we're almost done. Um, and then the painting begins. Well, Mom's well been I've had to start. All week because... I have um, to, I've been doing the ceiling. That was not going to get started until the beadboard got so done. So guys, here's a little tip. If you don't just absolutely, positively love to paint, don't ever paint your ceilings red. Yeah. Because you're going to be doing two coats of primer and two coats of paint. So that's just a little tip. Right. Oh, good thing I enjoy painting. Right. But the good news is Jessie is still doing extremely well. She has not missed her room. She's not tried to come up here. Yeah. She is sleeping like a log in the basement. She's doing really well. She's letting us sleep down there. We're actually getting really good sleep. So keep this will going. Be a good introduction to her when we get to reveal her room. So yeah, I'm looking forward quite, to that. I keep special. telling her. I keep telling her what's going on, and she seems to kind of get it. And she's just being a she's being a perfect little angel. So one of the things I wanted to ask our viewers is that you know we do these DIY kind of projects from time to time for the kids and the kids' rooms and things like that. And um, you know if you want to see more of that kind of stuff, we're happy to you know kind of Karen's making some funny faces right now. <laughs> but you know if you want to <laughs> see some of this behind the scenes stuff that we do. Um, to, you know, for our kids and for our room. To, to make our house a home, and maybe. And make this home, um, you know, put that in the comments below. We do enjoy we doing, enjoy it, doing and it, it, and we enjoy the Believe kids. it or not. We showed, uh, we showed this, you know, the panel link to Hannah yesterday. You might see that video at some point. Too. And I'd like to get David on some of these power tools, too, at some point. He needs to at least learn a little bit learn what they are and how yeah to, how, to, how to operate a screwdriver but we do a lot of this yeah. stuff you guys a lot and you know it's we, mama's we it hobby ourselves. we do it ourselves as much Everything. as we can yeah because um you know we don't have the resources to hire stuff out like a lot no. of our neighbors and other people do so we do what we can jess jess she wants to go to her bedroom uh -huh. oh. but her bedroom's not ready she... yet had a lot of confusion after her oh. bath just now. Oh she wanted my to go goodness. to her bedroom. Come on, we're gonna go so get So now she wants to go downstairs. That's fine. You wanna go downstairs? She's very confused. She knows what she wants. We took her upstairs to give her a bath and that was our mistake. Trying to transition her. She's happy now, so that's... She wasn't happy a minute ago. No. You want to go sing a song? Well, you want to go sing a song? Well, One, two, three. Well. <laughs> <laughs>
Find Daddy. Come on. Uh, sticker. I think she knows what where we're going now. Gonna make her bed up. <laughs> she likes it down here. That nice. sofa is extremely so comfortable. Yeah. Cool down here, very cool for the summer. Do you remember when we had the power outage for six days and the entire family slept on this sofa? We did our SBSK videos in here. Yep. We did our 30,000 subscriber video in here. We've done a couple mailroom openings in here. Yep. And the kids hang out. And the kids watch TV on the projector. Right there. Wee! We don't even buy bulbs for anymore. <laughs> Wee! Wee! It's empty. It's a. Empty Are you happy spot. now, Jess? Jess? So Jesse's in here. Whoa! Camping out in here, and Mom and Dad are right in the next, right next door, right in that room right there. She's okay now. Okay, Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good night, sweetie. We'll be done a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'll kiss you and good night. Okay. Okay? Yeah. One, two, yeah. <laughs> you. Oh, how about <laughs> I, love, I love yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you. is yeah? That's I right. love you. Okay, love mommy, try you. it. Okay, mommy, try it. I love yeah. I love you too, baby girl. All right, we'll see you in a little bit and tuck you in, okay? So. I'm still alive. <laughs> that was freaky. Day six. Is this day six? Day six of our five-day project. And what just happened? Okay, so we're doing this outlet. We all, of course, know that the circuit breaker for this room, which one it is, so I proceeded to turn that off powers off and as we started playing with this I got shocked so apparently this outlet isn't on this room circuit it's on a different circuit oh my gosh it's on the bedroom next door it's on yeah. Obed's bedroom so we used the tester and found out that that this was this thingy uh, right here this thingy yeah but you know what it only works like half the time well it works oh my but... gosh <laughs> I tell you what works Two fingers? Um, no, no, no. Okay. So the rule, the moral of the story is, even once you turn the power off, Test you should again. always use your little electrical tester gizmo gadget, that works, gadget thingy that sticks in there, and you should always, always, always check each and every outlet each time, each and every time, even with the power out, so that you don't die. Yeah. So, and I'm very thankful that we didn't die today. Yeah. Okay, so we're day six on our five-day project. And we have this section to do. More outlets. We're almost, we're getting there. We really are getting there. Look at that. We yeah, really we are. Have, uh, top, top. Oh, my goodness. We got the top boards. Top boards We've got there. those two short little walls and this last, last arch bit. nemesis. And then that corner to finish, which I've already got more to cut. And then the priming, filling, caulking nightmare begins. So here we are, the end of day six. Uh, Joe had to, he got called out to go help Joel with some things. And so I've decided I had finished painting the ceiling. I got that completely finished today. And so I decided to go ahead and start pri putting primer on um, some of the finished areas because Joe couldn't get this done today. Hopefully tomorrow it will be finished. We've got to do one coat of primer on all these panels, baseboards, cap molding. I've started it over here in the dormer get into those little beads as a bear but then two coats of trim coat after I caulk and fill all the holes we've got several days ahead of us still but it doesn't look like we're getting very far but we actually we we, we really oh I'm exhausted you guys we really are getting toward uh, near completion on this project all right what are you doing over there oh my gosh I am 
priming and priming these boards. I would totally pay extra for pre-primed boards. Yeah. I would pay these extra. These are MDF. STU Mama's in her best. Board. I'm telling this you. is we should do a, uh, a morning routine. My best look. <laughs> morning routine, day in the life. Mom's been painting. I don't paint. I'm Joanna not allowed Joanna Gaines, to paint. I'm not. Yeah. But she has people. She has people. She has people. <laughs> All right. So quick view around the room. This is what day seven oh, of our five day, day project. It? What day is it? I love and we finally have all of the beadboard installed everywhere except except for the top rail now this wall this wall has the top rail because this is the one we did first and all all of extra beadboard has been installed around the moldings the baseboards the outlets even have the old oh, even that? have the old Intercom system is covered by the new base uh, top board. We're gonna do that next. That'll be done in a short while. Mom's done the ceiling. That's finished. Finished and primed. Nail pops repaired. Dormers all finished up. All trimmed up except for the top. We still have to do all the caulking. All of the uh, wood putty, filling the nails in the wood. We still have to yeah. do two coats of finish, you know, trim coat, trim paint. Yep. Oh, and we have some uh, trim that we have to put underneath the uh, windows too. The big wood project is pretty much done, and the top rail will be put on today or tonight, and that'll be done. And I can get a lot of this gear out of here. Saw, saw horses and stuff. And we can move on to just painting. Oh, there's our... Would you ever do this again? Would you, uh, would you ever do this again? Yeah. It's, it's, We're going to need a break. Yeah. It's probably like childbirth. It's a lot of work. What? It's like what? Childbirth. Childbirth? Yeah. Once you do there's it. a lot of there's a lot of satisfaction in doing it right and learning how to do things but that was our compressor so that's our uh, our indicator to go back to work so here it is day eight uh, dad had some appointments and I am left with the caulking but we've got everything installed we have all of the the cap moldings now installed dad did a great job on that all the way around and right now I'm going through and I'm doing my vertical caulking, which makes a big, big difference. Like these corner beads, they just blend right in. These corner moldings, you caulk them up and it just, it just looks like another bead. I'm very happy with this. I've got about two more days of painting the trim, but it's not so bad. We're, we're going to knock this out and... Get it finished so we can do the load in and the big reveal. That's your last piece. It is. Okay, let me pull it That's it. Sure about that? Yeah, what else do you have? Nothing for you. You're done. I have a couple more days of work. Do you have anything that you'd like to uh, share? I'm not sure that we want to tackle something like this, this big again. We're both perfectionists, kind of in our own crafts, and those crafts don't exactly line up with one another. Well, I don't need as many breaks as you do. Correct. That's because I'm over analytical and I'm trying to think of the best and a and you know, way to kind of make things like you know finished. And did um, I tell you that school starts Monday, and today's Wednesday? Yeah, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad it's a big project. Um, it, it, we over, I think we overestimated our. You underestimated. Our you overestimated, overestimated my efficiency. Our abilities. Yeah. 
And, Although uh, we're not is... quite as uh, limber <laughs> as we once were. <laughs> and and that takes its toll. I mean, it really does. Plus, with all the interruptions with dogs and puppies and kids, kids and doctor appointments. Yeah, now that Jessie's been in the basement for a week, she's officially completely 100% and totally flip flopped. Fantastic. And school starts Monday. Yeah. So all of the wood work is completed. So oh, that's the baseboards, the beadboards. We put the first coat of paint on that wall. The top molding, the trim under the windows. Which we made up, by the way. That's not yeah. real window trim. It's it's extra pieces of beadboard that I trimmed to size. that we cut and just. And actually put a nice corner on them, or a return. Oh, and Mama's got all the paint to do. Those are all, all the switch plate covers are painted and ready to go. And now we can go feed our children dinner. Let's go do it. I got Popeyes for them, because I'm cooking again. And, uh, Before we start Chip our next Joanna project. Chip we're not. I think the results are good. Um, well, this job, would cost about ten thousand dollars to have done. I couldn't. I had tried a couple people. Nobody even Nobody wanted the job. And, and even with the kits, because they want to make money instead of the kits, they wanted to use. They would want to use baseboard paneling or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you know the four by eight panels and stuff. And that Which is, would, if you're doing it for looks, that would be fine. fine. But but we're doing it for Jesse protection and safety. So these boards being five eighths of an inch thick. Right. on top of the drywall give a sturdiness and a weightiness to the wall to help Jesse feel at home and comfortable and they won't have give, hopefully. And they won't have give to them so that she'll want to push her, her feet and knees. Well, and she won't be able to. I can tell you that right now. Um, so it's all good. More caulking and more I painting. have to paint all the boards and I and then I have to do... I'm, I'm pretty much done with the caulking. Okay. Except for what you just did, which is minor. Yep. And then I just have to paint all the wainscoting and do my touch-ups. And then we're good to start loading in. Okay. And so I'm going to clean out the pneumatic tools and any of the measuring and cutting and all that. Most of that is out. Okay, already. so I can put my and drop cloths out. Work on, work all on the way. feeding the kids. Alrighty. So. Vacuuming. Oh, my gosh. Is your back sore? Everything's sore. Oh, it is? We're finally finished. We are With finished. The construction and the painting. The construction. Oh my goodness gracious. Jesse's room. And so you're doing the final while well, we've already back. It's probably the first time in two weeks that I've taken a shower and put real clothes on. Yeah. So that feels pretty good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna run the vacuum through one more time. Yeah. I vacuum twice to get all the all that dust and you know debris up and I'm gonna just get one more good vacuuming right. and then we can start to load it in. And you know, it's not perfect. It's not. But it's pretty darn good. It is good. And even the I even the parts it. that have lots of boo-boos, you could never tell. I know where they are, but I'm not selling. Exactly. You're not telling? I'm not telling. <laughs> we replaced the shades. Because she broke all of her blinds. Yeah, she broke all the blinds. And she'll probably break these too, but it'll be a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's just well, how it goes. All right. Next is the loading up of furniture Load and stuff. It in. All right. Every change.